already spilled barbarian blood. And we know they bleed as we do. Ready! The son of Rome, fuck yeah. All right, sorry guys. How are you guys doing? Welcome back, PC gamers. I got a new video today. This is Rise, Son of Rome. I'm doing a video on the GTX 770. The performance is pretty much expected. The game average is around 45 to 60 FPS, kind of like Mordor. Uh, except uh, I never got below 30 FPS in this game. It's a decent console port. It's not, you know, it's not perfect, but it's decent. I also heard a lot of people, you know, complaining about the low FPS, even on, a, on, on more powerful cards than this. My roommate, for example, has a GTX 660, and for him, the, he can't even play the game because it doesn't work properly. So I don't know why is that, but I'm guessing the game will be patched soon. So the performance on the GTX 660, where it works properly, was around 5 to 10 FPS less than the GTX 770. So the highest FPS I got was uh, around 85 and lowest was 30. For more detailed FPS and uh, my uh, for my computer specifications, you can check the description down below. Uh, also, the card that we use, the, the GTX 770 Twin Frozer Edition. So, if you guys like what we do and we help you in any way, subscribe and watch our other videos as well. Next up will be the Borderlands, the pre-sequel video. Also, test done on this card. And um, if you guys want to see that, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. You heard what Boudicca said. We scout. We set traps. We stay alert. We got reports of Roman activity all over this region. They've lost their general and they're going to do everything to get him back. If you hear anything, anything, raise the alarm. Any questions? What time is it? What's this then? We got lost, did we? <laughs> Barbarians all over this region.